pursuit of continuous quality education. Living up to DepEd's mandate of no student should be left behind. From the home of Sarong Bangui, the land of Oragons, this is Santo Domingo National High School. School on Air. School on Air. Good, good afternoon, my dear grade 10 students, especially to grade 10 Picasso, Watson, and Franklin. Hoping you are in a good condition while listening to this radio lesson episode. This is the quarter four lesson for music. Kindly tune in within the frequency of KISS 108 FM. Please listen attentively. I am your radio teacher, Sir Roniel, from Santo Domingo National High School, Junior High School Department. At this point, be ready with your ball pen and some sheet of paper. This will be needed for jotting important notes and for several activities we are about to do. Keep your ball pen and paper always at your side. Get your self-learning module for Grade 10 Music Quarter 4, Module 1. Our lesson for today is about 20th and 21st century multimedia forms for Philippine Opera. I know you are excited about this topic. Please hold on to your excitement. The Philippine Opera is a piece of music performed dramatically in a theatrical setting. Its common themes include murder, revenge, and romance. The Philippine musical plays are, in a way, served as fruits of theater and are highly influenced by Broadway presentation. Kindly listen carefully, my dear students, so that you may be able to learn this objective. Sit back and enjoy while listening. Let's start with a free test of this topic. Kindly identify and choose the letter of the best answer. Are you ready for class? Number one. Who wrote the novels of Noli Mitangere and El Pilibusturismo? A. Jose Rizal B. Ryan Cayabiab C. Dr. Ramon Javier May I repeat the question? Number one. Who wrote the novels of No Limitangere and El Pulo Busterismo? A. Jose Rizal B. Ryan Cayabiab C. Dr. Ramon Javier Kindly choose your answer And number two What is the first Filipino opera? A. Sandugong Panaginip B. Lola Basyang C. La Loba Negra May I repeat the question? Number two. What is the first Filipino opera? A. Sandugong Panaginip B. Lola Basyang C. La Loba Negra Kindly choose your answer again. And number three. Who composed the opera for No Limitangere and El Pilibusterismo? A. Felipe Padilla de Leon, B. Ryan Cayabiab, C. Dr. Ramon Javier. May I repeat number three? Who composed the opera for No Limitangere and El Pilibusterismo? A. Felipe Padilla de Leon, B. Ryan Cayabiab, C. Dr. Ramon Javier. What is your answer, class? The answers are the following. Anyone who can guess? Number one. Mm -hmm. Letter 
A. Number one, letter A. How about number two? What is your answer? Number two, letter A again. Letter A. Number two, letter A. How about number three? Anyone? You can guess the best answer for number three. Number three, letter? Mm-hmm. Letter A. Once again. Did you get it right, class? Who among you gets perfect score? Those who cannot make it, don't worry. We have more activities to perform in the future. Kindly listen and study well. Let's proceed to lesson number one, which is Philippine Opera. In this lesson, you will learn about the historical background of the Philippine Opera. Opera is a part of Western classical music form and tradition. It is started in Italy at the end of the 16th century and soon spread throughout the rest of Europe. Eventually, English, French, and Italian opera are plores. The opera is both a musical and art form wherein singers and musicians perform a dramatic work combining the text called a libretto. May I repeat? The text of the opera called libretto. And the music usually in an elaborate theatrical setting. It, it incorporates many of the elements of theaters, such as acting, scenery, costume, and sometimes even dance. The performance is typically presented in an opera house, cultural center, theater, or auditorium. It is accompanied by an orchestra or a chamber in some. The dialogues were sung and not spoken. They are called recitative. Let's discuss the opera in the Philippines. Be ready with your ball pen and paper. Try to jot down the important events in this lesson. The emergence of the Filipino opera started to take shape during the middle part of the 19th century. Foreign performers, including instrumental virtuosos, as well as opera singers and Spanish sarsuela, which is also known as the drama simbolico, dominated the Philippine theater scene. Performers came to the country to perform for enthusiastic audiences. As the local were being exposed to Western art and music, they were also realizing their inner talents and passion for opera. The themes were ripe for voicing sentiments about their love, for the country and longing for independence from colonial rule. The elements of tragedy emanating from the popular themes of romance, deceit, murder, vindita, and other elements of human frailty became favorite narrative of the Filipino opera. Some works were based on previous literary creation, such as Rizal, from the novel No Limitangere, and El Polobis Turismo. Tragic ending and unresolved conflict made for excellent choices of opera production. The first Filipino opera is the Sandugong Panaginip. May I repeat? The first Filipino opera is the Sandugong Panaginip, with libretto in Spanish by Pedro Paterno, a poet, a novelist, a musician, and a government official, and was translated into Tagalog by Roman Reyes, and music by Ladislao Bonus. This was first staged 
at the Soriel Theater on August 2, 1902. Sandugong Panaginip was produced by Molina Benito Theater Company, which was owned by Juan Molina, father of soprano and actress Titay Molina and national artist Antonio Molina. It was later translated by the Englishman M. W. Loving with the title, The Dream Alliance. Now, let's know the original Philippines opera. Are you excited about this class? Okay, here we go. First, Philippine opera known as La Loba Negra or The Black She-Wolf. May I repeat? La Loba Negra or The Black She-Wolf is a three-act Filipino opera. Act 1 and Act 2 are based on history. Act 3 is based on a legend attributed to Father Jose Borgos, one of the three martyr priests, Gomez, Borgos, and Samora, who were executed in Bagumbayan and now Luneta in 1872. The music was composed by national artist Francisco Feliciano with libretto by soprano Fides Cuyugan Ascension. The premiere was held in 1984 with national artist for theater and film Lamberto Avillana as director. The synopsis of the La Loba Negra, or the Black Sewolf, so that we may be able to understand the opera. The opera was best, the opera was best on a novel attributed to Se Burgos. The opera tells the story of Governor General Francisco Bustamante and his subsequent assassination and the revenge of his wife, Lucia, now called La Loba Negra, after the death of her husband. That is the soundtrack of the La Loba Negra, composed by Francisco Feliciano. I gave you an idea about the opera of La Loba Negra. Next is another Philippine opera, which is the Noli Mitsangere, Touch Me Not. I know you have already knowledge about this novel about our hero, Jose Rizal. Let's recall. The three-act opera, No Limit Angre, was composed by national artist Pilife Padilla de Leon with a libretto by national artist Guillermo Tolentino. It premiered in 1957 at the FEU Auditorium. The cast included Juanita Javier Torres as Maria Clara, Don David as Ibarra, Edes Cuyugan Asensio as Sisa, 
Milo Cristobal as Padre Damaso and Morley Durham as the director. Several other productions followed the premiere staging. Noli Mitangere, the opera, tells the timeless story about love, betrayal, and hope set against repulsive backdrop of tyranny, torture, and murder. It follows Juan Crisostomo Ibarra, who returns to the Philippines after pursuing scholarly study in Europe. The Social Cancer, original title Noli Mitangere or Touch Me Not, a novel by Filipino political activist and author Jose Rizal, was published in 1887. The book, written in Spanish, is a sweeping and passionate unmasking of the brutality and corruption of Spanish rule in the Philippines in the year 1565 to 1898. Let's hear the awit ng gabi ni Sisa excerpt from the Noli Metangere composed by Felipe Padilla de Leon. Kindly listen attentively so that we have an idea. Here we go. juncture, let us discuss the Philippine opera, which is El Pelibosterismo, the opera. Are you ready for class to tackle this? All right. The opera El Pelibosterismo was composed by national artist Felipe Fadilla de Leon in 1970 with a libretto by Anthony Morley. It is in three acts and written in Tagalog. It was first stayed at the cultural centers of the Philippines. The novel behind the opera of El Pilibusterismo or the Pilibusters was a novel by Dr. Cecil and a sequel to the earlier Noli Mitsangere. It tells of the continuous struggle of the Filipino people to achieve freedom and emancipation from colonial rule. Through these major characters involved, it reflects the prevailing state of the Philippine government and society that has become corrupt and immoral, for which a revolution was being seen as the only solution for change. It was also perceived as warning from Rizal, an intellectual from the highest order. Although we favored a peaceful way of instituting reforms, the seemingly hopeless situation points to armed rebellion with the aim of independence. (laughs) 
what is the message of El Pilibusterismo? Rizal masterpiece, El Pilibusterismo, the message of the novel is clear. The present system of government, the Philippines, through corrupt and self-seeking official, dominated by the priors and being submissive to their interests in one fashion or another, can only lead to disaster for Spain. Okay, let us listen once again to the El Polibusterismo musical composed by Felipe Padilla de Leon so that you have an idea what is the opera of El Polibusterismo. Here we go. May may tutulong po ba ko sa inyo ginoo? Sino ba ko sa iyong akala? Huh? Si Crisos como Ibarra Sino? Dapat kang patayin Basilio <laughs> Alam mong buhay pa ako Sisirain mo lamang ang Layunin ko Hindi Gagamitin kita sa himagsikan Himagsikan din ang Simon Okay, I know the opera is very intense Why is opera important for Filipino? Original Filipino operas can help the Filipino understand and value our culture by exposing cultural heritage This is an avenue through that we can express our daily experiences on how to improve our life, society, and country itself. One of the famous quotes of our national hero said, I die without seeing dawn's light shining on my country. You, you will see it. Welcome it for me. Don't forget those who fell during the night time, said Dr. Jose Rizal in Noli Mitsangere, Touch Me Not. Now, let's have activities to measure your understanding of the discussion for today. Class, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Number one, this is my first question. What is the first Filipino opera? Number one, may I repeat? What is the first Filipino opera? And number two, who is the composer of Sandugong Panaginip? May I repeat? Number two, who is the composer of Sandugong Panaginip? Panaginip. And number three, what is the other term for nole metsangre? And number three, what is the other term for nole metsangre? And number four, what is the other term for la loba negra, the black she wolf? Number four, what is the other term for la loba negra? Okay, so let's go for number five. Who is the main cast for El Polobelebusterismo? May I repeat? <laughs> Who is the main cast for El Polobusterismo? Yeah, that's it. Number six. In these three Philippine operas I presented a while ago, what is the message or Or what is the message who wants to convey to us? May I repeat number six? In this three Philippine opera I presented a while ago, what is the message who wants to convey to us?
Please flash your output during the distribution and retrieval of module. I am excited to see your outputs. I believe in you and believe in yourself that you can do it. If you have question, concern, and clarification about this topic, kindly send your message in our group chat or personal message. I am willing to assist, help you anytime. Please be reminded of your task in the FB group and messenger. Be on time for your submission. Kindly pass your answer through FB group, personal message, or printed answer sheet to be passed during the distribution and retrieval of module. Be on time for your answer. Early birds catches more worms. So that so that's all for today. It has been another awesome day of learning. I hope that you enjoyed today's radio based lesson episode. Until next time, this had been your radio teacher, Serunye, saying the people do not complain because they have no voice. Do not move because they are liturgic. And you, may, and you say that they do not suffer because you have not seen their hearts bleed. May I repeat? The people do not complain because they have no voice. Do not move because they are lethargic. And you say that they do not suffer because you have not seen their hearts bleed. Said by Dr. Jose Rizal in No Limit Sangre or Touch Me Not. So that's it for today. Good luck and goodbye, great 10 student. More learning and lesson during this time of Holy Week.